vintage shopping. We're gonna die. Ah! <laughs> Near death experiences are totally what UBS is all about. Yes. So, yes, I'm really living up to my blonde pigtail persona right now. And Tam's <laughs> making <your> sure. <laughs> Kiki. <gasps> I love the name Kiki! So we're gonna go vintage shopping. I've never been, I'm super excited. My hand is covering the microphone, I just realized. Oh my God! Oh! Oh, it's velvet. So pretty. This place is amazing. Doors! Oh, easy, easy. I think you should buy it. It's not gonna fit me. What do you mean? <laughs> is that the only problem? We can fold the sleeves. Ooh, saucy. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with you. All the dungarees! Yeah, I got your little pinnacle dresses. Hello, you're cute. Love it. Wow, why does everyone call the back? Cute. And then to wait a Sunday for church the next day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, church. Shop quarters. Alright. <laughs> We're vlogging on the go. We're gonna see if this works. I'm gonna end up keeping pedicure foam things in my handbag from now on. Can you imagine like your YouTube filming kit? <laughs> yeah. It's like a reading light with some paper over the front. <laughs> you know, your tripod is like a couple of books. <laughs> Your vlog stand in the car is like those toe things that you use to separate your toes when you want to paint them. We're making it work, man. We're making it work on a budget and we look fucking fabulous doing Isn't it. Isn't that what so. YouTube's all about, though? I mean, I'm going to have to figure out how to do that whole book uh, tripod thing for when I leave. Because I obviously can't take yeah. my like mother's tripod with me. I'm just gonna borrow this for two years. Bye! Bye! I don't know what I'm gonna do without you for two years. You'll be fine. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Do, do, do. Hi! Hello again. Did you like staring at our seat belted tummies? <laughs> seat belted tummies is totally an all girl punk band I'm gonna start. Seat belted tummies. Mm hmm. Like if I don't know you and you're like, you know, hanging on me, then I'm like, then, then, yeah. then. Get off. but if like somebody has to come for you and like touch your tummy, it's like, I am not a kitten. <laughs> it's just so personal to me. Like, <laughs> da, 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 da. we're back. <clears throat> Keep falling over. Yes. So that's the one issue we've discovered. This is and just we're a going uphill, let's see what happens. But otherwise I would say this is like ninety eight percent. What is this force called? I'm trying to be scientific now. Force? You know you get different forces. Um like like if you pull gravity and pull. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to remember grade 9 science, which was... I didn't do science! 2005? 2005? 
2006? Oh, girl. Yeah. Ten years ago. I mean, it handles corners pretty well. Unless you're just taking corners specifically. <laughs> specifically. Specifically slowly. It's just that going forward movement that it's not handling. So that's not bad. It's not bad. I'd say for like a cheap fix. And my brother said that this wouldn't work. Ha! That guy's... So sort of slowly in a straight line is, yeah, is good it's the for best. this. Oh, oh. Speed bump. Yeah, Philip DeFranco was talking today about... Or yesterday. Yeah, because uh, Julian... Yeah, Julian and Jenna Marbles and this woman like locking up. come out and be like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, that's not cool. Yeah, and then he mentioned that somebody just walked, walked into, their, into office. their office. And he still has like recording of him being like, hi, who who are you? Are, are you, you looking for? for? Who are you looking for? And like, he was so calm. And like, I think of a complete stranger holding a box. Because you, you can see when he, re when he realizes that this person... Like, he's not, he's like not a here for a thing. Guy. Yeah. He's not. He's just he's just wandered in. Like you can literally and that's when he like gets up and I'm just like I, I wouldn't have been calm. I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. I find that it's a really interesting discussion because people will have the argument, oh, but you willingly put yourself out on the internet. Uh, you should expect this kind of thing. But my mm. thing is, is that... There's a line, though. But my thing is, is that, you know, with like, um, say, you know, Rihanna or something like that, people yeah. will be like, you know, I'm, I'm allowed to stalk her or whatever. But the thing is, is that they'll be like, oh, no, I buy your albums. I'm allowed to, you know, I should be uh, allowed to get a picture or an autograph when I see you. So if she's, you know, not feeling it or it's safe and she's she shouldn't be doing that people be like oh i buy your albums i go see your movies but that's the thing is is you pay for that album you paid money for the album and that's what you got you paid money to see that movie that's what you got and with youtube you don't own a person but the thing is that with youtube what you get is the content they give you like that's it that's the line you know it's like just because you watch them you're part of their subscribe account you uh, you know maybe help their channel but the thing is is that they've already created content for you for free yeah like, th that's it yeah you know that's that's what you're getting i mean just from doing our little bit of youtube wanting to do like a baking video we're spending money to buy those supplies mm -hmm. over and above what we're already doing using our time what little equipment we do have you know we're producing that content for free for people to consume like that's where the line ends that's what you get i think people need to rethink their priorities and they need to rethink like who you are as a person if you think it's completely fine to rock up at someone's house and their home where they live if you think that's completely normal now nah, fam i got news for you you need to like recheck yourself because that's not okay yeah, if you think you're entitled to now that is not any different to someone like coming into your home and robbing you like it's such a violation of space and you have to respect people for being people and like you know it's hearing... almost like you know you working with somebody in the same office so then you think it's okay to walk into their house and like dig through their fridge did your mama like, not teach you any manners you know like you you don't you just you work together in the same thing you get paid to do the work that you're doing mm. and that's it that's where it ends like nobody owes you anything mm. over and above what they're creating for you and it's specifically with youtubers there seems to be this idea i think it came from like the team 10 debacle they have not actually moved out of that yep. house but you know when you had these kids outside you know like blocking and i think um zoella used to get it as well where people would be like outside her house mm. you know there's like this entitlement of being like well i support you i'm helping you be successful therefore i'm entitled no. to more of your time and space it's like no mm -hmm. you're entitled to what they give you mm -hmm. you know you pay a certain amount for somebody's album that's what you get you get the album you mm -hmm. don't get their time you don't get to be in their personal space like that's what really really bothers me is people think that they're entitled to something over and above 
what they're getting so if people are like well i support you on patreon it's like yes you get what you're entitled to on that tier that's that's, it. that's what the arrangement like, is that doesn't mean that you can come and w help yourself into my home and i think specifically with youtube because nine times out of ten you're getting that content absolutely free like that's all you're entitled to mm -hmm. You know, just because your interaction, you know, you give your interaction willingly. You don't have to watch that person. You don't have to be subscribed. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you can literally watch a YouTuber, not be subscribed, not interact, not like or anything. You're still getting that content for free. But that's all that you're entitled to. Yeah. Amen, sister. Amen. Hacked. Get out of the car. <laughs> okay.